Velko Mišić of Belgrade is dreaming of a new and more powerful Serbia. At 21, he's a bookseller by profession. But like many young Serbians, he's out of work. He does odd jobs to keep his head above water. I want a better life. And for Serbia to be a kingdom, a big country with dignity like before, I want Europe to have a different attitude toward us. That's why Mišić joined forces with a Chetnik militia. This Chetnik fighter, Bratislav Shivkovic, has just returned from eastern Ukraine. He spent 40 days there fighting alongside pro-Russian separatists. The Chetnik militia have a long history. In the Second World War and Yugoslav War, they fought for a greater Serbia. For the young fighters, Shivkovic is a figure of admiration. This is my picture from Kosovo and Metohia in 1999. And on this picture you can see that I have the same weapon like in Novorussia in 2014. <laughs> Shivkovic was part of a group of 21 Serbians who went to Luhansk. He says they were invited by Don Cossacks. Shivkovic is also unemployed and commands one of the many Chetnik groups in Serbia. He believes Serbia should ally itself with Russia. That's why he went to Ukraine, he says. Although he was a mercenary soldier there, he says nothing about money. The most important aspect was helping our Russian brothers and fighting fascism there. Fascism has returned like a vampire and is waging war against the Orthodox Russians using Nazi symbolism. Velko Micic fervently believes this rhetoric. If the commander summoned him, he'd also fight alongside the pro-Russian separatists. We haven't been there yet, but if need be, we join them, of course. That's what Belgrade wants to prevent. Serbia's parliament has approved jail terms for anyone found guilty of fighting in foreign wars. This crackdown is part of Serbia's plan to join the EU, but Serbians are deeply divided. Vladimir Pavicevic says the government are hypocrites. The Serbian parliament has passed a draft law that punishes anyone who joins a paramilitary force to go to war. But some members of parliament have also gone to eastern Ukraine, especially to the areas that are under the control of pro-Russian forces. They went there as election observers in the election that was not authorized by Kiev. Serbia is a comparatively poor country that hopes to join the EU. But many Serbians also feel close ties to Russia. The Chetniks are extremists, even within Serbia. They publicly celebrate the accused war criminal Radko Mladic as a hero. Of course our activities support Radko Mladic. He supports us after all. Chetnik mercenaries who have returned from Ukraine are spreading Russian propaganda and increasing tension here in Serbia, says Marko Milosevic of the Belgrade Center for Security Policy. Serbia is in a difficult position. The EU has taken a position in the Ukraine crisis, and we want to join the EU. But we have ties to Russia and depend on Russian energy, and much of our foreign trade depends on Russia and the EU. Velko Micic has made up his mind. He's joined the Chetnik extremists. Serbia should ally itself with Russia side by side. That's his vision of the future. I want people in Europe to have a different attitude toward us. We want a greater Serbia, with normal jobs and wages for people. That's my dream for Serbia's future. Most Serbians share the dream of a better future. But unlike the Chetniks, the majority would prefer that future to remain allied with Europe.